hello guys and welcome to a fun and exciting video so this past week me and andrea we have a board game instagram together called board bg girlies and it'll be linked down below but we popped in to have price books to you know look at books and were amazed by their board game selection and i found five games that i just had to take home with me and one of them was still in its like saran wrap wrapping or cellophane wrapping whatever it was still wrapped up so i know that that one was completely brand new and that is this one i did open it to film a little reel with it and unboxing first impressions but i want to go through these with you open them up see how what the condition is honestly they tape them pretty loosely so you could check in store but i didn't and we did confirm with them that they do check every single piece and make sure every piece is in there which i do believe simply because behind the counter they had a ton of games that they weren't just putting out to the force because they have to count them and with puzzles they won't take an open puzzle because they don't want to have to count all the pieces so there is that but the first game that i grabbed technically the last game was the year of the dragon i had seen this in a bunch of different stores but none of them were like a super a bunch of different half price books we went to four different stores locations but all the other ones this game was $19.99 and the price on amazon for this one is $23 i was like that's not a very good deal and the last one we went to had it for only it was on sale for $12.99 so i was like okay for $12.99 i'll pick it up but like i said this was all com is completely brand new was still in its original packaging so i know that everything with this one is sound so i'm not gonna really go through the contents with you because i already know that they're good but if you want to see a complete unboxing make sure you follow our instagram to see that so on that one that was a ten dollar saving I'll tell you at the end how much i saved overall the next game we had that i found was get on board new york and london judging from the back of it it looks a lot like it reminds me a lot of welcome to your perfect home this is not the same publisher so i think it's just a coincidence that it reminds me of it but this game on amazon is 30 dollars and it was 12 dollars there so that's an $18 savings so we're already up to a almost $30 saving which is pretty much the price of another game we're gonna see how easy it is to remove the sticker peels off just fine no damage of the box and let's open up the stickers and see this one I was kind of 50 50 on whether or not I thought this one was already opened because most of the other ones the seal on the sides is super easy to open and this one though it's pretty easy it's not as easy so it made me a little suspicious that it might be the original but with how much it's clinking around in here that makes me feel like it's opened been opened been played been loved another way i look at it is like a lot of people who play like more difficult board games love them therefore they take care of them so here is the reveal okay on top we have the instructions I do see some pieces flying around in here then we have the board so let's pop that out this really gives me um welcome to your perfect home there is, is a double-sided board this is new york i believe yep and then this is london london's my favorite city i've ever been to and i'm from new york not like the city but like you know the state so that's pretty cool and then there are the sheets of paper that you can see. So I definitely played it because this sheet is used on one side. I'm just going to throw that one away. And is this one used on one side? Yes. So we'll just start fresh with these new pads of paper. But there's still tons of pages in here. I'm sure you can print more online or buy some. There are four pencils. And then we've got some zip pieces. We've got the dark green, we've got the yellow, light purple, light blue, and the dark purple. And then we do have all of these, which, oh, there's a fifth pen pencil, I just found it. There's these, which look like, I don't know how to show them to you, little traffic lights. 
the yellow has it in its bag but the other colors don't so i'm just gonna throw them in there and there's this other really bizarre looking piece no idea what that's gonna be used for but this looks in perfect quality it literally looks like somebody played it like one time and decided no not for me so that's exciting and then the cards are in here as well they are rubber banded together it's honestly better care than I usually take because I don't ever own rubber bands. They usually just get tossed on in. There's this bag, which is an odd shape. I'm assuming it's for this one single piece. And yeah, the cards look, the rubber band's kind of broken, but the cards look pretty good. Oh my God, stop. Look at this one. It looks like it's been like punched, like there's been holes punched in it. That is so cute, like a bus ticket. Oh my god. This looks super fun, super quick and easy, and I'm excited that I was able to get it for only 12 doll hairs. What a bargain. The next one I got was the best deal of the entire day. I saved $47 on this game. I paid $33, and it is $80 on Amazon and this is Arkham Horror. This game has um, I believe seven or eight different expansions. So I love that. That's so much replayability and it's just really exciting. And I know Chris had been looking at this game at our um, local game store and we haven't picked it up. Um, I will note that the um, sticker on the side did remove some of the ink on the box. But honestly, this box it's like the style of it it's supposed to look kind of old anyway this is one that i did peek inside at the store because i didn't want to spend 32 dollars on a used game if it looked really bad there's this it looks kind of like a little ad in there we do have the board which is humongo hold up oh my goodness this is a gigantic playing board wow it's huge it's Similar in size to size. The board is a little bit damaged. I will note that. But the pieces inside look like they were stored beautifully. We've got a baggie here of like what looks like brains. We've got some dice and some other little pieces there. We have, there are inserts in the box for the cards. And the cards all look to be like in excellent condition. No like staining, no like just nothing about them looks damaged as well as all these little cards these also look great and wonderful and i just messed them up i think they're in order <laughs> oopsie so let me fix that and we have a bunch of baggies in here of different pieces we have these look like life rafts almost We've got magnifying glasses We've got circles and hearts in here. Not really sure what they're used for. We've got money. This money is so funny looking. I love that. Got a bunch of tiles here with like descriptions on the front and back. As well as the different players with their player things. There's an ad for a different card game in here. We've got little eyeballs an extra baggie and then I believe these are like monsters and different characters I guess depending on who you're playing there's different stories and characters I'm not really sure I have not watched a how to play on this I know Chris has and is very excited about it we sent him a picture Andre got like a bazillion games and out of like literally the like 30 games in the car this is the one he like like pointed out and was like oh my god I've been wanting to play that so that's super duper exciting. The next game I got is one that I saved $20 on. And that is Photosynthesis. This game is stunning. And every time I'm at my friendly local game store, I always look at it and then decide $40 seems a bit steep. I don't know if I really love it. So for half off, I was like, let me give her a go. And honestly, I am going to be buying a new storage system for the other side of my room. 
and I need some games that are just visually stunning to be on display and this is one that is just so pretty that would be perfect for being on display the stickers all came off perfectly now we'll open her up oh my god I don't know if this has ever been opened those were stickers on top of stickers hold up we still got, we got a whole nother layer of stickering to get off of these. It sounds like it's been opened. Usually like a game that hasn't been opened does not rattle around that much, but this whole double, double stickering is quite odd. And yeah, it's definitely been played because things are put together. So there's instructions on how to assemble the trees, but they are all put together in here. Here are the English instructions. French instructions. This is presumably the main game board. Then there are a bunch of four, I guess, four of these boards. So I think it's the four different seasons, possibly. Unsure. Then there is the sun. And this is actually so freaking cute in here. There's these tiles. I don't know what they're for. But then there's a bunch of trees in here and there's the four different seasons. We have got the summer trees, the autumn trees. There's like bigger sizes as well. Then we have the winter tree and the spring tree. These are so cute. And this again looks to be in excellent condition. So I am very excited about this one. It is so pretty. I hope it's as fun as it is cute. I feel like I have fallen victim before. I think we all have to buying games simply because I like the way they look and then they end up not playing the best. But I'm hoping it's not the case. <laughs> Font smart with photosynthesis. And then the last game I picked up. I'm not sure how much I saved on it yet because there are two different prices for it on Amazon. It is called Mariposas. I believe that's how you say that. It's about butterflies. And it's, again, this one I bought on Mainly because it was stunning. So on Amazon, there's two different ones. There's the regular base game, which is $30. And then there's the base game that comes with a bag. And that was $44. So I either saved $5 or $10 on this one. It was probably the worst deal, but this game is just so pretty. I had to have it. So we'll see if there's a bag in here. If there's a bag, then I save more. If there's not, then I save less. We have got the instruction manual. We've got this board, which says each collected life cycle cards is worth $1. We have got the regular game board. There is not a bag. So we saved, only saved $5 on this one, which not the best deal, but I have to have it. Here we have the board, which is a little bit damaged, I will be honest but it is super duper pretty. Pull her back up. And then we have the, we have like little stacks here of like butterflies and flowers. We've got wooden butterfly tokens, which are super pretty, as well as oh, these cards. Can we like appreciate this art? I cannot, that is, Beautiful, I love monarch butterflies. I think they're so pretty. We've got these tokens, as well as other cards over here. We've got like um, cocoons, different butterflies, different caterpillars, and games. Honestly, opening this one gets me really excited to play it. And I'm so excited. So let's do the tallying of how much money we save. 10 plus 47 plus 18 plus 25. We saved exactly $100. $100 saved. I didn't even spend $100 on all these games, I don't think. Let me add up how much I spent, I guess. 25 plus 13 plus 20 plus 33 plus. I spent $102. So 
I literally saved about 50% on these games and I will definitely be going back to half price books to look at games in the near future. Well, not the near future. I gotta let them get some more in because I bought them all already. But I'm so excited about this. Have you guys ever picked up board games at a thrift store or at half price books? Let me know. And if you've played any of these games, leave your review down below. I'd love to hear it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!